Hello, my name is Mr. B. I'm an adjunct professor here at RTV. I teach video production. Here are all the cameras that you can use in our studio. Uh, I'm gonna kind of briefly review all of them. Uh, first thing I wanna mention is the difference between automatic and manual functions. Automatic functions means the camera is controlling settings for you. Manual functions means the user is controlling those settings. All right, so first camera is the uh, Canon Vixia. It's pretty much your basic standard camcorder, point and shoot camera, all automatic functions, shoots in HD. Next, we have the Canon T6i, uh, pretty much your all multi-purpose camera, interchangeable lenses, automatic functions, depending on um, kind of the setting where you're at, and can do manual settings. Great for photo and video capabilities. Then we have the Sony A7S II, pretty much built for video, uh, flexible with post-production purposes, shoots in Ultra HD 4K, really good in low light settings. Next, we have the Canon C100, uh, shoots in HD with a 4K sensor, so you get great image quality, you can manipulate it in post, has built-in filters for any outdoor or indoor needs. Next is the Canon XF305, it's pretty much your basic ENG camera point and shoot. It has only one lens that you can use, uh, it's pretty much a zoom lens. We have built-in internal mics and external microphone capabilities for recording, as well as built-in neutral density filters. Next, we have the Sony FS7, uh, pretty much standard for uh, professional video production. Built-in filters, just like the C100, shoots in Ultra HD 4K. And then last but not least, we have the Red Raven. Uh, you might have seen this on Hollywood movie shoots because it is a professional video camera. It shoots in Ultra HD 4.5K. Touchscreen capabilities, all the settings are on the home menu. Very easy to access, uh, very flexible in post-production. So these are all the cameras used in RTV. I hope to see you in my classes soon.